morning it's uh september 4th 2023 labor day and i'm on my way to bear trap lake hopefully uh, right now i'm on four town with four town and i'm right here at the beginning of the portage to get to boot it's uh, about nine o'clock in the morning and it's supposed to get hot today so i'm gonna keep pushing on and see if i can get to bear trap never been there and a little excited to get there and hope i don't get too hot so let's go Made it across the portage and now I'm on Boot Lake. All right, so we've made it across Boot Lake. Right now I'm at the portage. I believe it's to Ferry. I'm gonna have to look at the map. I haven't uh, really checked it out, but tired, hot, and uh, can't wait to uh, get to Bear Trap. Hopefully nobody's there. Otherwise, I'm gonna be hitting up Thunder, Thunder Lake. So, see you on the other side of the portage. Paddle just straight across the lakes the portage. All right, so now we're on uh, Gun Lake. Paddle across Gun and then hit up Gall. After Gall, it's, uh, I think, believe it's uh, Mud Hole. And then after Mud Hole, Thunder Lake and Bear Trap. So, tired. I'm kind of getting a groove. So, let's keep going. <laughs> Hopefully the portage to Gull. I've been on gun once before last September on the way out from Crooked, but this will be all new territory for me. This portage on. It's pretty exciting. Lake is mud hole. All right, coming up, coming up to the uh, portage to go to mud hole. Pretty sure this is the portage. Sure looks like it.
All right, it's the portage that from mud hole into thunder. Just ran into a couple of guys that were just camped on bear trap and they said it's open now and they didn't see anyone on thunder. So that's good news for me. All right, made it across Thunder. This is tiny little portage and it's Bear Trap Lake. Can't wait to take a rest. Filter a bunch of water. Luckily though, it's not full sun. Well, maybe it looks like rain. It's not supposed to, but anyways, it's not too hot. Not as bad as I, I thought, but here's Bear Trap. Make all these rocks. Somewhere in that direction is the campsite, I believe. Well, I made it to camp here on Bear Trap. Uh, like I said, it looked like it could rain. It's been on and off, really light sprinkles while I was setting up my tent and tent, excuse me, and trying to set up my tarp. And now it's uh, raining just real lightly, but at least it's not beastly hot and in full sun, so. Pretty nice. I'll show you around once it stops raining and once I get everything set up, but. For me, that was a long ways to go on a hot day, so I'm pretty, pretty tired. Feels good to sit down and I can't wait to get everything set up and already had a peanut butter sandwich. Last week, my wife and I went to Horace and we brought this little sandwich rounds and squeezed peanut butter. Man, was that good. I don't know why I've never done it before, but. So I brought a bunch and it was good, quick and easy. We'll catch you back, uh, catch you back later. All right, it's uh, 7.40 at night. It's finally starting to cool off a little bit. I haven't really left the camp yet. I uh, got some wood and got super hot and then uh, went in the lake, put the suit on. I didn't jump all the way in, but I went uh, up to my knees and bent over and splashed water all over me. I didn't want to get my suit too wet. I don't know why, but felt good. It cooled me off. Then I lay in the tent. Of course, I didn't take a nap. I wanted to, but I laid there for... 15, 20 minutes and then felt like I had to get up and it seemed a little cooler out. So then earlier I had gathered up some wood that I needed to process. So I processed some of that and uh, that's about it. Still pretty hot. It's cooled off and I'm still sweaty from processing the wood. Uh, I haven't gone fishing yet. Pretty tired. Really kicked my butt today. I'm not sure why, but probably the heat. But anyways, I'll quick show you around my uh, camp here on Bear Trap. So here's the uh, view. Here's the camp. Get my tent set up. Since it was sprinkling on and off and then rained a little bit, I put the tarp up over the fire pit. Didn't do the best job on it but it worked hopefully it'll work i think it's supposed to rain tuesday night maybe while i'm sleeping and then in wednesday morning but that was yesterday so things changed so you never know i didn't think it was going to rain today but yeah i don't know i'm a long ways to be here and i don't know i like it can't wait to go fishing of course that'll change what i think about this campsite if i can catch fish here on bear trap or thunder that'd be great We'll catch you later. Hey, 
Okay, good morning. It's day two. Uh, had a quick peanut butter sandwich for breakfast. Uh, chilled for a little bit. Got some of my brush piles cleaned up, ready to burn for uh, later tonight. But now it's uh, time to go fishing. So never fished this lake. I have no idea where to fish, but I'm gonna do my best and have fun doing it. So we'll see if I catch anything. For a little while, I just got my first fish. It's a walleye. <laughs> That's awesome. dead tree, got a bunch of nice wood, I haven't processed it yet, but I got it here on the tarp. Check the GPS, I was going to have a fish fry and some potatoes. afternoon until about 11 o'clock so at least a 60 70 percent chance i think at 9 p.m tonight it's up inside 100 percent so can you get some rain <laughs> well kind of lowered the tarp here on the north side kind of shut the wind a little better and hopefully i don't get too wet the plan is tomorrow is to it's raining is to chill under the tarp and burn wood i guess hard put on the rain jacket and go fishing but we'll see what tomorrow brings and what tonight brings i'll show you the sky here in a little bit it doesn't look too bad it's just looks like rain's coming well, the wind's blowing should blow that out of here. Well, it seems like it got darker south here. Let's we'll see what happens. Last of my blue sky for the next bunch of hours. All right, status update. It's uh, 5:20 p.m. September 5th, day two. I thought I was in for a wild ride with storms. It 
lightning thundered off to the uh, west here, but uh, lightening up. Still uh, sprinkling, but yeah, not bad. It's cooled down, which I'm happy with. Just kind of chilling here under the tarp, burning wood and listening to the rain, enjoying the peace and quiet. Stop thundering. Lightning. Could go all fishing, but <laughs> I'm pretty good right here. I was hoping to have a fish fry tonight, but uh, it was really windy, and you know, looking at the forecast, it looked like rain. I was like, yeah, I'll just hold off. I brought a small cooler with a block of ice, small block of ice, just to keep the night crawlers cool. I knew it was going to be super hot. Monday and today, Tuesday, but uh, and I said last week, but it was actually I think two weeks ago my wife and I went to horse and the bait store didn't have leeches, so I was expecting just to use night crawlers, but to my surprise when I picked up my permit, they had uh, leeches, so I got a half pound of leeches and uh, some night crawlers from a few weeks ago. But uh, <laughs> I have a lot left if I don't get out here and go fishing some more. But we'll check back later and uh, see how things are going. Six twenty five PM. Still sprinkling. Yeah, good morning. It's uh, day three, about 8.30 in the morning. It's still uh, sprinkling out. <laughs> I think it pretty much rained all night. Went to bed kind of early. Felt good to get a bunch of sleep. Uh, still sprinkling. Every once in a while, big wind gusts. So eventually I'm going to get out of the tent, eat some breakfast. Hopefully we can get some fishing done today. Uh, according to the GPS, the uh, rain should stop somewhere between noon and one, so should have a good second day, so time to burn some wood and eat breakfast here, if I can get out of this tent. <laughs> Check back later. All right, I finally got out of the tent. It's uh, been out of the tent for a while, but it's like 940 and the uh, rain, mist, might be letting up. It's uh, a little breezy. all night so hopefully it stops and I can get out here and go fishing uh, the plan is to fish bear trap maybe go to thunder if I can be able to go today and then uh, maybe tomorrow pack up and head to Florida town it's been a what is it Wednesday Thursday night Friday night on Florida town we'll see though if I can somehow find a honey hole here on bear trap or thunder if it stick around but if I head back to Florida town I'll be a little bit closer to the truck uh, the last push to leave a little easier than coming all the way from here. So that's the plan. Gray skies, cool weather, a little bit of mist. Hope I can go fishing later. All right, it's uh, 3.40 p.m. on day three, Wednesday. Uh, finally fried up that walleye I caught yesterday and made some wild rice. I'm gonna enjoy that now. It's been a rainy, on and off, cool, windy day. I haven't even gone fishing in the canoe yet, just uh, from shore.
pretty much had only peanut butter sandwiches and uh, some instant potatoes. So this here is going to be wonderful. All day I've been thinking about it. I'll start ready to go fishing and then I'll start misdoing. I mean, I have a rain jacket pants. It's just so cold now. I feel like getting wet. Right now it's misting again. So, <laughs> kind of a crappy day, but at least I'm eating good and I got a fire going, so life is good. Well, I'm going to enjoy this. Take care. I'm gonna take the canoe out and try to fish. It's been all day sitting at camp. It's about time to get out of here. It's a freaking northern. Oh, <laughs> bass. Spit the hook and get a good hook set on it. Ooh, walleye. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> hot baggy, holy crap. <laughs> All right. Now, that's a nice walleye, man. I just had a uh, fish fry and I'm planning on heading out to tomorrow. So I'm gonna throw this one back, but man, fun. I can catch me or two, I guess. Woo. It's not as often. That was awesome though. All right, it's uh, about 7.20 at night, day three still, Wednesday. I uh, stopped fishing shortly after I caught that while I fished where I caught that one for a little bit longer and then just slowly made my way back. I was starting to get a little, 
a little chilly. Wanted to get back at uh, camp, tidy it up. I'm gonna head to Fort Town tomorrow morning. That's the plan. So I'm kind of packed up as much as I can until tomorrow morning. Still got the tarp up just in case it sprinkles again. It's not supposed to, but you never know. It's been raining on and off all day. So, but yeah. So just gonna hang out here by the fire, stay warm, chill for a little bit, try to go to bed early. Get up early, and uh, it's gonna be a nice cool day again tomorrow. Not as windy, supposedly, according to the GPS. So it's gonna take me about, what was it, four, four and a half? I think four and a half hours from the uh, four town, from the Portage, from four town into Boot. So hopefully, four and a half hours and get to four town, and then find a place to camp and then go hit up my honey holes. So we'll check back tomorrow and, uh, I'm going to enjoy the evening. Good night, everybody. Uh, good morning. It's just before 7 a.m. on day four, Thursday. Um, packing up, heading to Fort Town. I got up about 6.30 and uh, slowly getting things ready to go. But I'm going to hurry up and uh, get things packed up, and I'll catch you back on Fort Town, hopefully. All right, it's 8 a.m. I'm all packed up. The canoe is ready to go. I've already uh, walked around the camp, make sure I didn't forget anything or leave any trash or anything. Everything's clean. Everything's good to go. So it's like 8.01. It's uh, time to hit up Ford Town and find a campsite and do some more fishing. And today is supposed to be cloudy like this and cool. And right now there's hardly any wind. So it's gonna be a lot, a lot easier traveling than the hot heat. So let's get going. All right, it's uh, day four. I made it from Bear Trap to Fort Town. I'm on the south end. Uh, most of the sites I passed were taken, so when I got this one, I was uh, felt pretty lucky. So I got tarp set up. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but just put my stuff underneath it. Can't get one over the fire pit. Got my tent set up. Got me a bunch of firewood already. Just on the trail back to the latrine, man. Nice, dead, dry trees. It was perfect, so... All set up, it's about 2.30. Yeah, this is gonna work, it's gonna be awesome. Two nights here and then uh, back home to the cabin and then Sunday head back and see the wife, kids and the dogs. I can't wait to see them. Miss y'all. Time to go fishing. Here on Four Town, uh, just starting fishing now. So hopefully, we can have some luck like the day trip I had August, whenever that was. First nothing and then now something seems small. <laughs> A sunfish. <laughs> when my wife and I went to horse, that's all I was catching. Fun. Sunny.
Stick. Not feel anything fighting. Huh. Nope. Huh. Oh god. <clears throat> yes, first walleye today. I'll put it down. Hey, leech. Alright. Pretty nice. Eat this one tonight, hopefully. Throw that on the stringer. Well, they're not exactly hopping in the boat. Still have that one wild lights. Like, I don't know, a couple minutes ago, five minutes ago, I caught it. But I might do a couple more passes and then head back and eat that. <laughs> I have no idea what time it is. I'm guessing around 4, 4 30. I'll check the GPS in a little bit. Yeah, do a couple passes and uh, catch one more. I catch one more. If not, Head back to camp. It's the plan. What is this thing? Oh. Oh. You bastard. Oh! Fuck! I shouldn't have used the net. God damn it. It's a nice size walleye. Fuck! Bass, feel like a bass. No. Easy there, buddy. Oh, God. 
All right, another walleye lost. One caught, two lost. That one wasn't huge. <sighs> now maybe I should have used the net. Mind games. See if we can't not screw this up again. Oh, another walleye. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Get that fucking... There we got that one in. Jeez, redemption. thinking about just having the one and some mashed potatoes or wild rice but i just might eat these two bad boys all right i'm heading out of here i'm gonna go clean these fish on the shoreline somewhere and get rid of the guts and back to camp see you later all right back from camp got the fish all fried up <laughs> they're delicious uh, my good buddy of mine came up with the idea of making walleye bites cutting them up into small bits not bits but pieces but man are they good Nice and crispy all around. What a day. From Bear Trap to Fort Town. Only had one little hiccup. I uh, left camp, thought I had everything. Paddled across Bear Trap. Got to Thunder. Got almost to the end of Thunder to the port as you go to Mudhole. And I realized that left the leech locker and all the leeches back at camp. So I had to turn around and go all the way back. I don't know how much time it took. I don't know, half hour maybe, but... Other than that, it's been a great day, man. Really, really good day. This walleye's delicious. Catch you back later. All right, good morning. It's uh, Friday, September 8th, day five. My last full day here out in the Boundary Waters. Uh, tomorrow's Saturday. I'm just going to wake up, pack up, and uh, get back to the cabin. I got chores to do back at the cabin. Take the dock out and stuff like that. Unfortunately, summer's coming to an end. Plan here is to eat breakfast and then go fishing and enjoy the last full day here. I don't know if I said it, but it's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. I woke up about 6, had to use the bathroom, went back into the tent. Kind of fell asleep. Anyways, about 6.30 I finally woke up and started laying there waiting for my neighbors. I got a campsite here just to the east of me that they're pretty close. So I don't want to make too much noise. I waited to hear them. Heard them and it was 7 o'clock. So on another nice dead tree behind campsite so I cut that down I haven't cut it and split it yet but uh should be good to go for wood for tonight but yeah nice and cloudy and cool and not windy and it's not rainy so this is nice I think it's supposed to get a little nicer today but yeah I'm gonna eat breakfast and I'll catch you guys later First cast of the morning and uh, <laughs> walleye already.
fly. All right, <laughs> another walleye, baby. <laughs> now I got two to eat for today. Because more than enough, that was kind of big. If I can catch a smaller one. That was fun. Oh, another dandy. Hey, hey, all right. Third walleye of the day. Man. Stop. And bleach special. Yeah. Another. <laughs> Another nice dandy here. Sweet. Good old Fort Town. That bass. Come on. <laughs> so I broke this rod earlier this year. The bass trying to reach and grab it. So I'm kind of, and this is the, the new rod that they replaced for free. Oh, all right. So just a small mouth bass. Not a bad size one, but fun. Yeah, anyways, it was a Fenwick rod. Broke just like that, catching a bass, trying to reach and grab it, and it darted underneath the canoe, and the rod tip broke. But uh, yeah, everything I read about online about Fenwick is like, oh, they're horrible customer service. But man, all I did was email them, and all I do is take pictures of it. And uh, yeah, totally free. So props out to Fenwick. I love the rod and your customer service is great.
first one this evening. <laughs> A little one. <laughs> that was weird. Right by the eye. <laughs> oh! Tiny little walleye. I'm mainly using just a floating jig head and a one eighth locking weight for a tiny little split shot. Also spinners, but mostly I've been using the floating jig head. Had pink on. I have blue and white now. One of those little soft gummy ones. Just thinking about putting pink back on, but I caught one walleye. Had pink on earlier. Bass. <laughs> All right, wear yourself out. Another sunfish. So is it sunfish time?
Alright, well, I only caught the one small walleye this evening, and I'm not sure what time it is, but it's getting late, so I'm going to head back to camp, and it's a wrap for me for fishing on this trip. It was fun, though. Lots of fun. A hell of a trip, that's for sure. <laughs> See you back at camp. All right, well, day five is coming to an end. It's late. Just gonna chill here by the fire and uh, go to bed and get up early in the morning and head back to the cabin. It's been a great trip. Thanks for watching. See you next time.